open Adobe Character Animator. And I can actually close After Effects. I'm going to close it down in just a second here so you don't have too many things running in the background. There's Character Animator. I'm going to I'll just close After Effects. Don't need to save that. Here on Character Animator, and um, I'll go right here. When you open up Character Animator, it has um, uh, these tutorials, which are fantastic. It has it's called Getting Started. It's a tutorial, and you can use that to kind of get a sense of how this thing works. And you might notice that this little guy here is moving, depending on where I move. So it's already going to notice its eye eyebrows just went up. That's because my eyebrows went up because it's seeing me in the web in the web camera. So I'm going to do what's called set the rest pose. So I need to look at the webcam and click this button and that sets the web pose. And notice the little red dots that appear in my face. I'm looking over there to see if you can see them. I think you can pretty well. So there are these little red dots going around my face, on my eyebrows, and even through my glasses. It picks up my eyes like that. If I'm gonna set the web pose again with my glasses off, just by looking at the camera, and so I can look up, down, left, right like that, and it picks it up. It's amazing that it picks it up, even on, with a little webcam, which is not the sharpest, comp, sharp, sharpest resolution in the world. Now notice my hands don't do anything, don't have any effect on it, just my head, which causes it to change. And also gets my voice. Huh? Has to be pretty wide open for it to really get it, because I've been talking here and it's not really responding. But, uh, so it can do lip syncing. It can do lip syncing like that. You can also get that kind of an expression. All right, and you can use this on different uh, characters. They've got a bunch of characters here that come with this. So I'm gonna go to uh, Bunny. I'm gonna go to Wendy. Go. I'll show you that one because that's uh, kind of interesting. Turn him on by clicking on this layer there. Come on, there we go. I told you that you, it doesn't pick up your arm motion, but you can uh, also control arm motion using very much like the puppet tool that's inside uh, After Effects. So down here I can click on this and drag it around. There we go. So I can animate this. If I click this little record button, I can animate that. Notice that it's catching my mouth movement here pretty well, a little better than the other guy did. So you can do this as well. You can also assign keyboard shortcuts to behaviors. So the letter A causes him to have his eyes wide open. Letter B closes his eyes. And I'm going to I'm holding these buttons down. So holding down one turns them off to one side. Two partially. Three, four, and because that won't. If I turn my head like this, it picks it up pretty well. But the keyboard shortcuts pick it up as well too. There you go. I'm going to go to one more thing here. You can also give gravity to objects. I'll click on Bunny Dude here. You can give gravity to things. Notice how these guys are moving around, these little tassels are moving around. So you are allowed to, not allowed to, there's features to apply gravity to objects. Notice how his head, his ears kind of flop around. So these are features that are also available. And uh, if you want to record your actions, you can just go to, let's say you just want to go to this uh, version down here, and you can record there just by clicking the record button and then clicking go. And then if you want to use your own artwork, you can do that as well in this process. You can create artwork. You can link to it by creating it from within Animator or just go create it in, in uh, Illustrator or in Photoshop. And then you can bring them back here inside Character Animator. Now, this is not a finished product. This is a work in progress. And the folks at Adobe would love to get your feedback. This is version 3, and I'm sure there will be more versions down the road. And they really would love to hear how you use this. So... If you want to play with it, you can let them know by going to that uh, Go Wish page that I told you about and uh, give them some input on how this is working and what you would rather have. Again, you know, you might want to get, be nice to get the arms going, but you have to use some other puppet controls to do that. This is one thing that I would suggest. But nevertheless, that's, that's Animator, folks. Which, and if you go back to the face recognition that we saw earlier, that face recognition uses this tool to do the face recognition. So, uh, let me see. I check. Uh, Risto says, I, uh, "Do you know?" What? <laughs> uh, Risto asks if there are more characters available, and uh, I don't know that there are. Uh, I think this is one of those things where you can just um, pop online and, and just. I think you'll probably find uh, characters like this, and you can import them, and uh, uh, they'll probably work fine. But um, 
Uh, but as far as I know, the only characters available are the three that I showed you, plus uh, Frankenstein and the snow person, which is over here. And uh, this guy right there, this Adobe 3, he's, he's there all the time. So those are the ones that come with this particular one. If that answers your question, Risto. So that wraps up the class today. Um, anyone have any questions? Otherwise, we'll call it a day. And uh, Lard and I are going to need to put our heads together as to what the next classes will be. Uh, we've talked about uh, doing stuff on text and masking and other things, but we'll kind of get our heads together and see what we come up with. And if you folks have any uh, suggestions, feel free to uh, send them to, to Lard or to me. Uh, Susan says, how about a class on customizing a template, uh, going under the hood of the template making changes? I th uh, Susan, we did one back a while ago. I'm not sure which number it was, but uh, you can go to the uh, Academy site and look at the previous classes, and it says what they're about. And I'm pretty sure we dove deep into one. Um, let me see. And there's the link for it. Let me just copy and paste that link here. George Mancy. And go on to chat here, and I'll put, that, put in the link to the classes there in chat. And so you can grab that if you want to to check out the uh, how to edit a template.